Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews again. This time I'm bringing you a tutorial that um, I couldn't find anywhere else and that's on how to use grid layout to put pictures that are different sizes in your grid, okay? And have them come right up to each other uh, just like this, okay? So, uh, and I have gaps in there just because it looks nicer, but obviously you don't have to have any any gaps in between here uh, and I'll show you how I'm doing that okay so let's just get started and show you how to do that so let's go ahead to our blank canvas here and the first thing we're gonna do is create a div and we'll call it Gary Holder okay and then we're gonna put all of our photos in here okay so here are all our photos okay so right now we just have all our photos kind of laid out okay so the first thing I want to do is style we're not going to do anything to the gallery holder right now because I want to be able to see what's going on with the images so in order to have that happen let's make these images width a hundred percent Okay, and so now all of our images are with 100%, okay? So just in case uh, you already know or you don't know, in order to create the grid, it's really easy. We just say display grid, and then we got to give it some um, rows here. So uh, grid template columns okay so what I'm going to do with the grid template columns is I'm gonna repeat it okay and what we're going to repeat is we're going to do auto fill okay and then we're gonna do min max and the minimum that I want is 200 pixels and the maximum I want is one fraction unit. Okay, and here we have our pictures here. Now some of these pictures are just a little short. <clears throat> so to make these look nice, I'm just going to say align self center. And now these are kind of centered. Now, here is what I was talking about. You see this one's really tall and these are short and we got um, kind of like this, these gaps happening over here that we don't like. What I'd rather have is these tall pictures to not create all this gap here, okay? So here we're gonna have to do um, something that uh, hopefully that you're comfortable with doing but it doesn't take too much to do. We're gonna add a little bit of jQuery. We're gonna add a little JavaScript in order to make this work properly, okay? So I'm gonna go over here and just copy my settings here and just uh, add this script. Source equals and then we're just going to embed that right there okay so now we have our jquery in here okay and so now we're going to do just a little bit of jquery it doesn't take much let's just go ahead and get our ready function ready here okay so what we're going to do is pay attention here we're going to say that we're going to go to the gallery holder and we're going to go to each image and so this is our for each statement so for each image that's in the gallery holder we're going to create a function okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable and the variable is going to be width which equals this so whichever this uh, image is 
Okay, so we're going to say this outer width. Okay, and we're just going to do this and say the height equals this outer height. Okay, and so for each one of these, we're going to calculate its width and its height. Okay, so now we're just going to create a conditional statement here. I'm going to say if. So let's just see if it works. Okay, so we're going to say if the height is greater than the width, then we're going to take this. Oops. We're going to take this and we're going to add some CSS to it. And let's just make it simple for now. We're going to say the border is green solid. Okay. So now, as you can see, that the only ones that are affected are these tall ones. Okay. You see that? The only ones affected are the tall ones. And one thing I forgot to do was to make this no padding, no margin, and box sizing, oops, sizing, border box. And now everything fits a little bit better here. So there we go. And then we're just going to, just to make this a little bit nicer, we're just going to give the actual holder a margin. There we go. Now it's nice and clean. Okay. So now, as you can see, the, only the tall ones are highlighted. You see, because the, the height is greater than the width, but the ones that are landscape are not touched. Okay. So now you can see where I'm going with this. So the, the thing that's missing from the grid layout is that if you're tall and especially in these photos where I tend to take uh, uh, some landscape photos and some portrait photos and they're almost exactly the uh, for example the landscape photos are almost exactly twice as wide as the landscape photos but that really won't matter because of the fractional of this fraction here it won't matter because it's going to be equally the width is going to be equal okay so what we're going to do is we're going to add a little css and the css that's necessary is grid gap now in javascript you cannot use hyphen so anything that's hyphenated in css you have to use camel case okay so you're going to do grid row Okay, you're going to say grid row, and then you say span two. So that's going to tell it that anything that is wider, I'm sorry, taller than it is wide, we're going to make that span two rows. And just like that, it's fixed. All of these that are right here are actually two rows tall, as you can see. Now, again, I have these little gaps in between here because we have to make sure that all of our pictures are display block. There we go. That's a little bit better. And some of these pictures are just a little bit skinnier than um, than some of the other pictures. And I'm not going to worry too much about that. OK, so there you have it and this is why i decided to go ahead and put a gap here grid gap oops now let's make it around uh, five pixels okay so here's our grid gap right here everything seems to be lining up pretty nicely and there's your quick tutorial on how to fit some taller images and of course 
from this situation here, you can click on the picture and make it do whatever you want, make it bigger or whatever you need to do, or just keep it like a gallery like this. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm here and I'm happy to help.